This is the first lesson on probability, which is one of my favorite subjects in all of math. But before we get to that, we need to learn some new terms. So let's get to it. All right, let's get to our first new term. Now, anytime you're dealing with probabilities, you're probably thinking, well, you need to be doing something first. Whether that's picking a card, spinning a spinner, rolling a die, whatever it is, you need to be doing something to figure out the probabilities of something happening. Well, what do we call that something? Well, we call it an experiment. An experiment is just an investigation with varying results. So, for example, spinning a spinner like this would be an experiment. The next term we're going to talk about are outcomes. And an outcome is simple. It's just the possible results of an experiment. So if we look at our spinner, what are the outcomes? Well, it could land on a green twice. Actually, there's two greens. It could land on a blue, an orange, a purple, or a plum. Those are our outcomes. So the total number of outcomes in this situation would be six because there are six different places where that, um, that spinner could land on. Next, if we are spinning the spinner, we are trying to get a specific color, hopefully. And when we pick a specific outcome, either one or more outcomes, we call that an event. So in this situation, if I was spinning the spinner and trying to get a green, landing on green would be the event. If I was trying to get a purple, landing on purple would be the event. And then finally, the outcomes of that specific event, we would call favorable outcomes. So if the event is to land on green, how many favorable outcomes are there? Well, in this situation, there's two because there are two ways to land on green, which is what we wanted. So the favorable outcomes is what you want to happen. How many ways can that thing happen? Now that we know some new terms, let's get to our first example. All right, example one, you pick a random card from a full deck. All right, well, before we get to this example, I guess we should learn a little bit about cards. This is a standard deck of playing cards. Brand new deck, get rid of all that. Cut that open, take out all the cards. Don't need that anymore. So when we talk about a full deck of cards, this is what we are talking about. So first, let's break it down. There are 52 total cards in a full deck. Those 52 cards are broken up into four suits, and those suits are the spades, the diamonds, the clubs, and finally the hearts. And so naturally there's four of each number. There are four aces, one of each suit. So now hopefully you know a little bit something about playing cards. Let's get to the first question. Okay, so we are picking a random card from a full deck like we said before. So first question is how many possible outcomes are there? Well, how many cards are there, right? Each one is equally as likely to get chosen so how many playing cards are there? And the answer to that, if you remember, is 52. So there are 52 total possible outcomes. If we wanted to list each possible outcome, we would have to list every single card. So we would say ace of clubs, two of clubs, three of clubs, four of clubs. Those are all the possible outcomes. All right, question B. How many possible ways can you choose a heart? Well, if you remember, heart is one of the four suits, and there are... 13 hearts or 13 of every suit in a deck so if we look every single one of these would be a way to choose a heart right so how many ways there are 13 different ways we could choose the king of hearts we could choose the queen of hearts we could choose the jack of hearts the ten of hearts the nine of hearts or any of the other ones all right part c how many ways can you choose a king? Well, if you remember, there are four different suits, which means there are four different kings. There is the, let's see, king of clubs. There's the king of spades. There is the king of diamonds. And there's also obviously the king of hearts. So those are your four ways to get a king. And here's some to try on your own. Uh, <laughs> now I gotta clean them all up, that was dumb. <laughs> 